I heard stories growing up from my grandpa and my grandma, what they had to do when they were young. You know, them people had nothing, nothing. You had to make for yourself. This was the type of people that settled these swamps. And years ago when the government was giving out land, you couldn't grow crops here. You had to fish and trap and hunt for a living out here. My grandpa and grandma taught us. We not go sit around and, and boo there and be upset when things don't go good. We are gonna figure out a way to make it work. We are swamp people. It's early morning in Pierre Park, Louisiana. The Landry family, Troy, Guy, Jacob, and Chase, brought in a major haul of gators yesterday, putting their season back on track. Now to catch bigger gators, Troy will risk going to rugged, remote territory. He secured a few tags at a legendary place in the swamp known as Cow Island. Perfect. We've been talking for a long time about trying to get into Carl Island to fish alligators, because nobody has fished alligators in Carl Island since Christopher Columbus was over here. So we know they got some big alligators and plenty of them. There's a huge lake in the middle of Cow Island, but it's not accessible by water. To get to the gators, the Landrys have to bring small boats and drag them cross country with ATVs. Look, I don't think to get into Carl Island, I don't think it's gonna be easy. Once we get in there to shoot the alligator, I was told they got 12 and 13 foot alligators in there. When you're gonna see one that you're gonna say, that can't be an alligator, that's too big to be an alligator, that's the one we wanna shoot. You ready? This is it right here, look. Pull up guard, let's look at it. Being that we don't have airboats and we can't just ride over the levee, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull these small boats over the levee with the four-wheeler. So there's a lot of risk with going up to Kauali. We got a whole day here. We could have went maybe put a whole set somewhere and ran them and been guaranteed to catch six, 10, 12, however many we could. But we're gonna take a whole day. It really makes you wonder if it's worth this effort. To save time, Troy decides to hitch both boats to the ATV. It's a risky move, as they now have to navigate through thick forest in order to reach the legendary Cow Island alligators. Oh. You ready, boys? Hey. Don't stop. Oh, look at that. Every duty. It's no wonder this area hasn't been hunted in years. Just getting this far has been a three-hour grind. Almost there, baby! I can see it! They finally reached the canal, the gateway to Cow Island Lake, and the promise of monster gators. After fighting their way through rugged terrain, the Landrys are in gator paradise. Ooh, look right in the front. Oh, yeah, big boy over there. Look over there to the left. God, that's a good one, too. Well, that looks like a real nice shot of you. It's unbelievable. But with only one day to hunt here, there's no time to set bait. Troy will have no choice but to shoot his gators in open water. I'm not crazy about shooting on open water that much because it's so easy to lose them. You always more productive when you run lines. To cover more ground, the two boats will divide and conquer. That's a big alligator. Yeah, that's a big boy out there. Bust his ass, see bass? Giving you a perfect opportunity. Smoke him. Chase's shot has found its target. But now they've got a race to treble hook the beast before it sinks. Got him, got him, got him, got him right here. Oh, good. Watch out. 
chalk chase. What? Yep. Ooh. Come on, he ain't dead. I'm gonna lose him, Jake. Hurry. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, God, we lost it. God, dang. Chase quickly throws the hook again to try and snag him. Got him. Here we go. Whoa. Yeah. With the Colossus hooked once again, now they have to avoid its powerful tail. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. While aiming for the quarter-sized kill spot on its head. Yeah. Let him roll, baby. Let him roll. We got him. Woo, woo. All right, now, Cracker Jack. You know, it's hard work to get in there, and it's a pain in the butt, but once you get in there and see all them alligators, it's worth every effort. Troy's gamble to take his entire crew to Cow Island is beginning to pay off. Get him! Shoot him, guy! Brother, well, look like we got him. Woo, he's a monster. Guy's shot is right on target. But now it's a race to finish the job and get the behemoth in the boat. Get your hook. He's flipping, he's flipping. You got him, baby, you got him. Drop it on the side of the boat up. Organic. Oh man, you see that when we bring the sniper rifle, huh? See when we bring the sniper rifle, what happened? Oh, I don't know how we're gonna get this in the boat. We might have to drag him over there and winch him up with the winch. With no room inside their small boat, Troy and Guy decide to tie off the massive beast to the back. All right, we good. We just gonna drag him. As they continue the hunt with their prize in tow. That's a big boy out there. Jacob and Chase are having much better luck. <laughs> With a bullet already in this beast. We're right on top of him. Get at him, i try it now. Chase tries to reel in his prize. Oh, oh. Rifle, 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 rifle. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Get it? Put your head down. Oh, it looks like a good one, huh? Watch your hand, Chase. You gotta stay on that side, man. Yes, again. It prick! <laughs> With yet another nine-foot big money gator in the boat, Cow Island is living up to its reputation. Meanwhile... I think the hardest part is about to start. We ain't got them out the woods yet. With over two tons worth of gators in their boats, Troy knows if they don't get across the island by sundown, the meat will spoil, and their gamble on Cow Island will be a bust. One on the front rack and one on the back rack. And then the other two can leave them in the boat. In order to haul out both boats full of gators and equipment, don't stop. the Landrys will have to make two trips through the woods with their ATVs. Ooh. Okay, guys, let's let them work on this and let's go. While Jacob and Chase start loading out. Get on the front, little brother. Hold on, you all right? Yep. Troy and Guy have to retrieve the second boat full of gators. This Cow Island deal, just starting to wonder if it's even worth this whole mess we going through. Oh! Yeah, you might better get the boat in there. But if you fill it up, how are you getting all that out of there? Go. Uh-oh. Oh! I think we bent the shot a little bit. Ready? One, two, three. 
One more time. One, two, three. We've been in the little boat. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna lift you for me. One, two, three. <sighs> Don't worry too much. We're on our way out because it's starting to get kind of late. No. So, man, we're starting to panic. Where, guy? To the right. right. Yeah, right there. As they finally work their way out of the thick forest, Troy's ready to declare victory. Together, the Landry's bagged 12 huge gators, a haul worth almost $4,000. You know, this is a big relief. We had a good day today, and the boys did real good today. I'm very proud of them. So at the end of the day, I really think it would work. Awesome day, though, dude. It was worth every minute of it. 